um, the son of Dundeal, who every time he gets to his own age group at a, at a grand final, and this is one of the grand finals, he's too good for them. We saw that in the Golden Rose. He was superb there, and I think he can do it again. The horse just lo loading now, Bruce. He's a really interesting runner. Where's Tom Kitten at? Today we'll find out. No excuses for him now he gets to the mile. James Cummings will know what he's got. Yeah, it's a good question, Richard. I think he's going well. I don't think he's got to the right race. I think he's getting to it today. And he's going to run a very good race today. And then Rose Hill Guineas and maybe the Derby. That's the way. But he's got to run well today and finish it off. It's been a day where a few of the shorties have got beaten. Think about it in private eye in the last two races. We've seen some dramatic turns in the golden slipper as well. So up comes Kira McAvoy. Could he and Les Bridge get their first group one together today? They've been a legend in the past and at Everest. Can the legend get the job done in the guineas? Hey, we're ready to run down the Randwick guineas. There's the light. Militarise a short favourite. Racing now, Ducasse left the gate well, so did Le Vampire towards the inside, and Le Vampire is going to lead. Gambare going forward together with Fukabana, and then came Chea Wolf Plonk down on the rails. Militarise settles in fifth, then came Ducasse from Tom Kidd and N Cap, and Celestial Legends caught wide in the early part. And a gap back in the field to Cosmic Latin Cafe Millennium. So Le Vampire shows the way narrowly from the stable mate Gambare. Fukabana over racing in third. Then Chao Wolf together with Ducasse. A length and a half to militarise. Celestial Legend's gone forward now and has got himself in front of Tom Kitten in the run. Ncap's buried down on the fence. Cafe Millennium second last one off. And the roughy of the field, Cosmic Lad, sees them all. Inside the 800 metres, Fukabana's travelling keen. So given more rain now, and Fukabana took the lead away from Le Vampire and Gambare. A gap further back to Ducasse and Chao Wolf, Celestial Legend. Just a fraction deep there on the outside of the frame favourite militarise, then Cafe Millennium, Tom Kitten is well back on the inside of NCAP as they come around the turn. Fukabana shows the way by length and a half to Gambare, then came Le Vampire, now militarise goes, Celestial Legend goes from Cafe Millennium and Tom Kitten's cluttered up. Celestial Legend raced up to join militarise. On the outside, Cafe Millennium, Tom Kitten looking for room, saves NCAP, it's Celestial Legend, Celestial Legend with the head in front, Celestial Celestial Legend kicking, Cafe Millennium lunges, Miss Celestial Legend. What a brave win in the round with Guineas. Won it from either Militarise or Cafe Millennium. Then Ducas Gambare, Tom Kitten in cap, Chao Wolf, Lavon Pier, uh, Cosmic Lad. Last to finish was Fukabana. How appropriate, two legends of the sport, Karen McAvoy. 82 Group 1s, those three Melbourne Cups and all those Everest as well. And Lesbridge gets another Group 1 to go with the Everest. He's 12th for Les, he's 85. He hasn't had a Group 1 for a long time since Hot Danish won the Dooman 10,000 14 years ago. How good is this? An 85-year-old putting the polish on this horse oh. who we seem to know so well. This is spectacular. What a race, what a run, what a result. What a finish. Three horses across the track. I, you could just see that Militarise was giving his absolute all, but Celestial Legend was just really fighting, and he wanted it just that little bit more. Cafe Millennium put up a massive performance under Tom Marquand, but what a run. You can see that they were really playing jockeys at the top of the straight. Celestial Legend was pushed out by James McDonald, who wanted to get into the clear running with Militarise, and then it was on for young and old down the straight. Two of them at each other all the way. I think Kieran only went for Celestial Legend in the last 50 metres, which probably suggests that he felt like he had a lot underneath him, but a great race, a great finish, and oh, so happy for Les. Absolutely. So his first feature win was in 1961 as a trainer. His, can you believe that? 1961. Here's Les Bridge, the one and only, and he's with Emma Friedman. Les, you've been doing this a real, real long time. 70 years in this game. And look what you produced. You produced a horse to win two really good three-year-old black.